All right, joined by Indiana, Mr. Basketball, Deshaun Thomas, kind of brings a smile to your face to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it brings a lot. I mean, it brings a lot of joy and fun and a smile on my face. I mean, I'm, I know I want, I've been wanting this accomplishment from since day one. I wanted to be Mr. Basketball, and I came out senior year and nominee. It was a good race, I heard, but I came out with that one extra point. <laughs> made me be Mr. Basketball. <laughs> Actually, it was, it was kind of a landslide. <laughs> You're being a little modest there. But just talk about the phone call um, and kind of what went, went through your mind when you heard the news. Well, when I when I got, I was in uh, McDonald's All American when I got the phone call. I mean, it was uh, like I was shocking. I was happy for myself, and I was just like all the hard work and stuff paid off, and I was just like. I almost bust a tear right right there in the hotel, but I was so excited when I uh, had that call. Have you had a chance to kind of look back at everything you've done in your high school career and just been able to realize just what a special career it's been? Yeah, I mean, like I said, the hard work and then all the championships, you know, two championships you won with Lures and, you know, put Lures on the map and just, you know, kept being a good, be staying humble and staying focused each year. When you look at the list, I mean, you're in some pretty good company there, and uh, I, for good reason. Uh, have you had a chance to, you know, take a look and see who else has been named Mr. Basketball in the past? Yeah, I mean, Eric Gordon, all of them. I mean, uh, Oscar Robertson, all of them, you know. So it's just like in the past, seeing them get Mr. Basketball, it's just been like, man, Deshaun Thomas is up there finally. So, and it's just so real great, and I'm just happy I'm uh, Mr. Basketball. And so you still have a couple of prep games left in your career. Um, walk me through what you have left to play. Uh, well, I got the um, Jordan Brand game, and then I got the um, Indiana All Star game. Then I'll be ready. I'll be done for for them. Now I'll just now I'll just be working out and just getting ready for college. I think I leave like the second week of June in, for college. How fitting is it that uh, you'll end your career in the Indiana All Star game wearing number one, just as you have throughout your career? Uh, it's, it's, it's feel great. I mean, wearing number one, ending it, I hope uh, my, t my jersey, jersey get retired. But it just feel great. I mean, I've been number one since uh, wide wall. So it just feel real great and good accomplishment for me to wear that number. You ready to bring some of the, I guess, the pride back to Indiana All-Star basketball? Yeah, you know, show them that, you know, it's my last game probably in Indiana and just come in and just play hard and just, be a leader out there on the floor and just uh, play play with intensity. Do you get sad at all to, to know that it's coming to an end? Yeah, I get sad. I think about it every day. I'm like, you know, each game could be my last, but you never know. So I get excited, and, yeah, I get sad. But, you know, it's just part of the game. All right, Deshaun. Yeah, what are you looking forward to most after you play that Indiana-Kentucky game and get ready for Ohio State? What are you looking forward to most? I mean, just getting better, you know, uh, just staying focused and just um, staying humble and just being the great kid I am.